Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Welcome to one of our black screen talks. <laughs> of course it is, what time is it? 5.33. And um, I'm just receiving messages a lot. And I just wanted to share them with you all. And we're going to talk about being in your knowing so much that it looks delusional to others. Being in your knowing so much that it looks delusional to others. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the knowing part and the delusion part. So... Welcome everyone that's joining. So one of the messages, one of the, the conversations I was having, spiritual conversations, was about being in your knowing of who you are. And this message is said from a is being said from a love place, okay? Love place. Just because you say that you are a spiritual being, a powerful being, and you say these things does not mean that you know that you are. The power comes in knowing, not saying. It comes in knowing. When you hear like, know thyself, know who you are, there are actions and accountabilities that are required to truly test or be in that knowing. And a lot of times people waver back and forth. And that's okay if this is this is the beginning of your path if you're like so new to this. But at some point, it's no longer okay. So what is your knowing and what do I mean by accountability? All of you right now are on your phones. And you knew that when I picked up the phone and turned it on, it was going to work. When I pressed this button that said there was a live video, a live video was going to come on. You knew that. Nothing in your mind said... When I turn this phone off, on, maybe it's not going to work. I don't know. When I press this live button, I'm not really sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to press it anyway. There was no hesitation at all. You just did it, and it worked. You didn't think.
because you believed in the accountability of Instagram, that if you press this life button, it will work. You believed in accountability of your Apple or Android, that if you do this, it's going to work. You believed in these things that are not real. And you put your knowing into that. But as spiritual beings, we seem not to do the same. We say I'm a spiritual being, but you don't trust in the accountability of your source, of Mama Universe, of the Creator. You don't trust in that. You don't, I'm not really sure. So, I don't really know who I am. If I do this thing that I had a vision, will it work? I don't know. But I know, like, I know myself. I know I'm powerful. And what happens is we start playing with our spirituality like it's a game. It's crazy. What do I mean by our spirituality? What is that? That is the very essence, the very energy, the very power of who you are. And it's not tangible. You can't touch it. It is energy. It is power. You cannot touch power, y'all. You can't see it. You just have to know it, not believe it. You have to know it. Know that this is what it is. And something has gone wrong. But we don't really know who we are, know our power, and we don't give any accountability to our source. We talk about our spirit team, but we don't give any accountability to our spirit team. We don't think they're going to come through. We believe more in Apple and Android that they're going to come through when I turn on the device than we do our own Spirit teams, our own God, our own power. That's crazy. You say, I had a vision of doing this thing. Then what happened? What happened? Why are you not doing it? I know I'm supposed to do this. I know it. That's lip service. When you know something, there's no obstacle. Nothing can get in your way. You do it without thought. I remember in uh, 2018, in 2018, I was in a very bad accident. I was hit on my right side by a, a truck. And I had a really bad shoulder injury. And um, like something was torn. And I went in meditation about it. 
I was supposed to have a surgery. My shoulder and my knee, excuse me. And my spirit team said, don't let them cut you. My knee was messed up and my shoulder. 2018, I believe. And I verified it. I said, don't, don't let them cut me. No, don't let them cut you. What? So I can't have the surgeries. So here I am going to physical therapy for over a year now. And they're suggesting the surgery. The doctor's suggesting the surgery. My lawyer's like, what's wrong with you? You're not, you, you, you don't have a case. You can't refuse the surgery. You want, don't you want to get money from this case? So I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to let them cut me. I sounded crazy to them. Because here they are showing me x-rays and scans and no. So let me tell you what I did. I trusted in my knowing. I trusted my spirit team saying, don't let them cut you. Do this. And I started talking to my cells in my knees and my arm, my shoulder. And I started visualizing the healing, the tear being repaired. I started using tools. I wore bracelets, chunky bracelets of copper on my arm. I reached out to a close friend of mine, Brother Hawk Rising Sun, I said, this is what happened to my shoulder. Can you make something for me? And he made me a bracelet of magnets, copper. I, I showed him a vision. I had a vision of um, a bracelet with like uh, diamonds on it. <laughs> That's a thick bracelet. And so he made a bracelet with magnets and Herkima diamonds on it. And I wore that on my right arm, my right shoulder, my right arm. I trusted in my knowing of who I was as a spiritual being. And I trusted in my knowing that my spirit team are held accountable for my healing. I, I just do it. I just believed it. That shoulder healed to the point where the last time I was in at the doctor's office, which was uh, July, I want to say 5th, yep, July 5th, 2019. And I had the, the scan done on my shoulder. They were like, oh, we, we don't know what happened. Like, you know, you're fine. You don't have to have a surgery. And I said, I know. I know. I just know. One thing that I tell people, whenever they share something miraculous that happens in life, and they say, Professor, this wonderful thing happened. I said, and don't you forget that. Because the times are going to come where something's going to come up and it's going to shake you. And I want you to go back to this thing and sit in that place of knowing. If this could happen and I survived this or this miracle happened, then that means that it's going to happen again and again and again. When you do this, when you behave in this way, you will seem delusional to people. 
get over it. Get over it. Be go ahead and be delusional. Delusional. The basic etymology of it is from day from illusional or illusion luder, which means to play. The original idea or the idea of the word delusional is to deceive. It looks like you're deceiving. But it means to it means from play. When I say as spiritual beings, like in this reality, like have fun with it, play with it, test it. So what if it doesn't work out exactly? And continue. When I went to the doctor's office and they're sitting saying, you have a torn meniscus and you have a torn what, rotator cuff. And I'm saying, I'm not going to have a surgery. Why? And I said, I'm going to heal myself. That sounded delusional. But I was in my knowing of who I was as a spiritual being, more specifically as a healer. Nowadays, this is 2024, healing and natural healing and holistic healing, all this stuff is more prevalent on the internet, but a few years ago it wasn't. What do you mean you're going to drink herbs to heal your shoulder? What do you mean you're going to wear copper <laughs> and magnets and crystals to heal your shoulder? What do you mean you're rubbing your knee with magnets? The heck? That sounded delusional. It sounded like I was deceiving them. Remember the, the real word, it means from play. I was like, F it, let's see if it works. And it did. Let me tell you what was delusional back in the 90s. <laughs> late 90s, late 90s. I'm speaking specifically because in the late 90s, 1990, let's say right, six, 1997, there was these devices called computers and there was a thing called WWW, World Wide Web, that started. The internet was something that started around that time. And the very idea of it was delusional to most of the world. But around that time, there was conversation that there would one day be a device, a computer that you can hold in your hand. Listen, let me tell you how big computers were. The central processing unit, CPUs. Many of you are like, what is that? You may not even, some of you, you don't even, may not even know what that is. My daughters have no concept of what that is. But they were the size of a whole entire room. And then in the late 90s, the CPU, central processing unit, was this big block that you would connect to a screen. Huge. Over the years, it got smaller. But there was an idea. What if we can put the central processing unit in a handheld device? That was delusional. And what if it could play music? <laughs> <laughs> and what if it also operated as a camera that was delusional? But there was, it was in someone's brain. There was a vision of it. And someone had to trust in knowing enough for it to work. 
their accountability was science. The science says we can create these programs and we can create this device and it can work. It was delusional to think that was a thing. And now all of you are holding in your hands this very thing that was delusional because someone played, remember delude, delude air, they played with the idea of creating this. So why am I up so early talking about this with you all? Because if you're too too scared, some of y'all are scared to do the thing, to invest the money in, to take the action. Stop it. Play with it. See what happens. See what happens. We let fear interrupt the visions that we have. We let fear interrupt the play. No one thinks a child is delusional when they're playing with their toys. No one's thinking that. I remember my brother had um, this black Tonka truck. It was actually metal. It was a pickup truck. And he had, uh, what are they called? Like He-Man, <laughs> like the action figures. He had action figures and he had these little plastic soldiers. They were these little green little soldier men. And I remember him playing with them. I was always playing teacher. <laughs> he was always playing with these action figures. And in his play, they would always have the goal to save someone. Never did my brother stop and say, okay, wait a minute. What if the truck's wheels don't work and he man can't save them? And what if these little green action figures can't really shoot the bad guys? These little two inch army men and he was going pew 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 and they were shooting down the bad guys and the he-man would jump out the back of the pickup truck and save the day my mother nor my father walked past my brother and said you're delusional that game you're playing is not gonna work no no you know what they did? They bought him more. He got more army figures and more action figures and all, all the, you know, little plastic toy men. They gave him more. And sometimes I would play with him because it was fun. How can a child do that? But we can't do that as adults. All truth is truth. It's the same thing. Here you are and you have a goal. You have this vision. You have this thing that you're like, I know I'm supposed to do this thing. And it's going to take such and such and such. Use what you have to get to that goal. And just like my parents were watching my brother and saying, oh, he likes this. Let's give him more. Let's support his delusion. <laughs> Let's support his play. It's the same thing with the universe, y'all. It's the same thing with your spirit team. It's the same thing with God, with Mama Universe.
I'm going to pick someone's name on here. Sun Goddess. So Sun Goddess, when you have that vision of something and it's so big, I want you to be delusional with it. Remember the what it means of play. And I want you to just do it. I want you to just invest in it. Invest your time, your money, your everything into it. And have fun doing it. Know that I'm going to reach my goal. And know that you're being watched. And know that the universe is saying, Oh, she likes playing this. Let's give her more. And when you get the more... I want you to say, I knew it, of course, because I need it to get to my space. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink what the, whatever it looks like right now. Who cares? Nobody cares. You have to trust in your knowing of who you are. And to those that are not in alignment with you, it's going to look delusional in the current understanding of like you're deceiving something. You're deceiving yourself or you're deceiving them. Who cares? Who cares? You know that you know that I'm a spiritual being and I'm here to do a work. And I had the vision, and I'm going to do it. And it's going to take some time. It's going to take some energy. It's going to take some money. It's going to take whatever it takes. But I'm going to get there because I know I'm going to get there. And I know that my spirit team is watching me, rooting me on. They see me playing this. They don't think that I'm deceiving them. And they're saying, how can we serve you? How can we assist you? How can we give you more? And you get the more because you knew you would get the more. What are you talking about? Again, my brother, he knew his birthday, Christmas. I want this. I want this Superman. I want this Defender. I want Thundercats. Because he needed more superheroes to ride and hit the pickup truck to save the day. And so he wasn't stressed about any of it. I never saw him crying and stressing. Oh my God, oh my God. this Christmas list. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me think. I need another truck. But how am I going to? No, he just said, this is what I need, mommy, daddy. And waited for it, opened the birthday present. And it was there. He just knew under the Christmas tree was there. He just knew when we t went to the store and I, he said, Mommy, this is what I want, that he would get it. He didn't stress about any of it. He, you know, he didn't worry about the money because it was always there, y'all. You say you are gods and goddesses. But you act like mere humans. Pick one. Pick one. And be a hundred percent in that. Be a hundred percent in that. Things get challenging. I tell y'all all the time, the challenges are meant to expand you so that when you overcome the challenges, you realize, wait, I really am that strong. I really did that thing.
You learn new ways to do it better so that the next time is better, it's easier. You don't stress about the obstacles because for what? Always be like, damn, this must be something for me to expand on. (laughs) How am I going to expand on this? You figure it out. We're literally coming on the full-blown energy of this abundance here, full-blown. Once airy season starts, once the new, new year starts. And already there's some wavering happening with people. Why? I need you to be in your delusional knowing space. If people are not looking at you thinking you're delusional, you're doing it wrong, y'all. You're doing it wrong. You are doing it wrong. I'll never forget 2015. I did a video of me walking outside on the grass. And I think at the time, Instagram videos were like 30 seconds. So it was like a couple of clips. And I was telling people, you need to walk barefoot. And I was talking about the energy of the earth, the magnetism, and us as electrical beings, and the ions. And I talked about how powerful it is. And I was constantly in my backyard walking barefoot. And I remember, like, I still have the video. I still have it. (laughs) I still have the comments where I was being laughed at. What are you talking about? What is grounding? What are you talking? I don't, I don't know if I use the word grounding or not. I just said do it. Tell the people to do it. You have to charge yourself. Sit on the grass. And I remember being like laughed at. There goes Melanie with her, you know, you know, crazy, crazy talk. Witchy talk, with, you know, whatever the stuff is. Literally, people were commenting under it. You think I cared? I got to the point where I didn't care what you say. Now I see the same people saying words like manifestation. (laughs) And they're going out into nature. So guess what? I'm like, it confirmed. It confirmed you confirming my delusion. My play. When I first said in 2017 that I'm not going to eat meat anymore, plant-based wasn't even a phrase, y'all. The plant-based was not a phrase. Sometimes we forget stuff. There, there were no vegan options. I promise you it wasn't because my daughters and I were struggling. We were eating sides for dinner, putting sides together. How many vegetable sides? That's in our mind. And me having smoothies for breakfast or fruit because there was no, no plant, no meat substitutes, no none of that stuff. And the amount of slack, and th- th- you're crazy because you need protein. You're not going to survive. You're going to get sick and da 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 da. All the things. But I stood in my knowing. This is what spirit told me to do. And this is why it's easy to connect this way. I have to connect, I have to do my spiritual work. Spiritual beings have to be mindful of breaking those connections by putting low vibrational food in your body. What's a low vibration? I 
I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. And now there's plant-based. Now there's options. Now there's gluten-free. Now there's all these things. Who was in there knowing? Who was really delusional? I share these I share this with you all because I understand the journeys that you are on. I understand it. I've been through it. Do it anyway. Some of you have visions. Let me tell you something, spiritual beings, you have foresight, foresight. And if you just tap into your foresight, y'all, you'll be so ahead. And when people start to catch on, they'll look to you. There's a reason why you have the foresight. Is because you're meant to be the true leaders, teacher. You're, you're, the, you're meant to be the true guides. Let the world catch up to you. I remember, um, oh, what is his name? Uh, the guy who started Apple. I mm, forgot his name. Someone let me know in the chat because I don't want to say the wrong name. Steve Jobs. This is a true story. Steve Jobs in the nine, late 90s presented an idea. Early 2000s, excuse me. I remember because the iMac came out. The iMac came out in 1998, seven. I remember because they had it all over the college cap campuses. They were advertising it. There were these colorful computers with the CPU attached. These big, big, gigantic computer screens. And he presented his own company with the idea of having... Um, what is now the cell phone. <laughs> he was like, look, we can put the music, we can, we can have a device that plays music and has the internet in it and it takes pictures at the same time. We can do it. And at his own boardroom, they laughed him. They said, you're delusional. That's not possible. So much so that they voted him out of his own company. He was laughed out of his own company that he started, y'all. They brought on another CEO and they continued with Apple and it was failing. He had a vision for something. They weren't ready for it. So he came back. He said, okay, okay. Let's just, let's, let's just start with this music playing device, which was the iPod. In his mind, the iPod is the same thing as an iPhone, but let me dial it back because their vision doesn't match with my vision. And so this, he started with the iPod. Y'all remember that? It was a handheld device that played music. And then when they saw that that could work, then he said, now we can put this iPod into the phone. And when they saw that could work, now we can put the camera in. And if you look back at it, you're like, why didn't, the, why didn't they believe him? Why did they laugh him and say, you're delusional, you're crazy, that could never work? Because he was aligned with the wrong people. He was aligned with the wrong people. When they realized that the company could not work without him, they had to bring him back on and say, okay, let's do this thing. Do you know the hell he went through? 
for you to have the device in your hand that you have right now? It's delusional until you do it, y'all. So just do it. Make sure you are aligned with the right people. Make sure you are aligned with the right people. How do you know? Because if you're with people that say, that's crazy, how's that going to work? That's not going to work. How are you going to do that? You're not smart enough. You don't have the money. That's not the right people. Everyone on my, anyone that's in leadership in my companies or executive function in my companies, one trait I look for is peop, are people that are delusional. What are they doing in their lives that look crazy to other people? Oh, we can work together. Let's work together. Because here are some ideas that I have that to the world, it looks delusional. It looks like it's deceiving. You can't do that. But watch me do it. Who's in your circles, y'all? My daughter told me uh, two moon cycles ago. It was a, the full moon was on a Friday. No, maybe it was a Sunday. I forgot. I forgot what it was. And she called me on a Thursday. And we were speaking on a Thursday. And she said, Mommy, I really want this car. She, she said, um, and then she was telling me how her car, her current car was breaking down. Like this stuff, silly stuff was happening. And I said, well, it's time for something new then, right? She says, yeah, and I want this particular car. I didn't hesitate. I was just like, okay. Well, I'll tell you, it's a Tesla. I want, I want a Tesla. I was like, okay. She had a, a nice car, but it kept breaking down. And she said, it's time for something new. It was a Thursday. So if you tell me something that you said you've been setting intentions for, let's do it. So um, I said, okay. And she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking around. I said, did you find one locally? She said, yeah, I found a model, model, model three. Which model do you want? I want a model, I want to say, right, why? Do they have Model Ys around? No, they just have a Model 3 locally. Let's go. I'm getting dressed now. Um, we're gonna, I'll meet you in an hour. We're going to go to the dealership down the street from you. We're going to get in this car. Have you, you ever been to Tesla? Let's try it out. She was like, Mommy, are you serious? I said, you said you want to do it. Let's do it. She's like, but I don't even have... I said, no, let's, let's do it. So it was five-something... We all got into this Model 3 Tesla. She got in there and she was like, oh my God, I love it. Like, I want this car. But she wanted the Model Y. I said, okay, find it. That night, she found the car. This was like the full moon weekend, y'all. Listen. She called the place the next day. I'm talking to her and I'm telling her, when you call a car dealership, this is what you say. We're not paying extra. Tell them that you're serious about getting it. She did not have the money. <laughs> she made the she made the, the the she did the transaction. She paid uh to holding fee. It was Saturday, I believe. She paid a holding fee. I said, wait till Monday. Monday is the it was, I forgot, energetic. I think it was an eight day. Because now I'm using numerology. Wait till Monday. This is what we're going to do at the bank. My, she, She's not even 21 yet. She has no credit, y'all. I mean, I say that. I helped her get a card. She has some credit. So, this is full moon weekend. Monday... She did exactly what I said. 
got the money, exactly what she needed for the car. Call them. Next day, we go pick it up. This was like in four days, y'all, in four days. She says to me, when we finally got to the car, it was exactly what she envisioned. It's a special, like, design, like the, 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 the what do you call it? The interior and the, the rims. And she said, Mommy, I manifested this. And I said, what do you mean? She said, I did my new moon manifestation. I said, I, I want to get a car by the full moon. She watched her sister do it, and she said, I did, I'm doing the same thing. In four days. I'm saying that to you because I, if she would have told anyone else, they would have said, what are you talking about? You don't need that. That's delusional. How are you going to find that specific, that specific car, that specific design style? She would have got all that energy, but she came to me because I will sit in your delusion with you. That's what you said. That's what you, you want to do. You see yourself driving that. That's your vision. Let's do it. My other daughter did the same thing. Someone on our team saw that they did that and they did the same thing. During the new moon, full moon cycle. Got their car on the full moon. So what I'm saying is that the people around you matter. Being your knowing of who you are. Hold, hold spirit accountable. This is for everyone. If God is God and you're a child of God, you are God too. If Big Mama is the, the, all, the all of the universe, is that's what it is and you have a connection? Man... All is in you. You are all. That means you are abundant. But you have to know that. You have to know that. It's too easy now. When I first initially started doing this, this was during the when all the, the churches were big. I remember everybody was going to the, the big mega churches, excuse me. Everyone was going to mega churches. T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar. I forgot all the, the big mega churches. Joel Osteen. All of that was big, big, big stuff. And here I am talking about spirituality and doing spiritual work and healing myself and making shea butter. What... Ordering shea butter from Africa, making stuff for my daughters. And what is that? Why are you making stuff? You can buy Jergens or I, there was n no community around me. It was me, myself, and I, my spirit team, my ancestors, God, that was my community. And it was hard as hell. And I said, one day... I'm going to create something where people like this can get together. That was my delusion. I'm going to have an app. That was my delusion. But we can post what we want and say what we want and do what we want. And we're going to meet together. That was me being in my delusion. I was playing with it. I saw it. And now it exists. So I'm saying that to encourage you all. We just had a new moon. How many of y'all set y'all intentions? 
If you didn't, it's because you don't know. You're not fully in your knowing. That this works. This is my work. That I need to be consistent with this. Because I truly hold the universe accountable to whatever I say is going to be. Whatever I write down is going to happen. And I'm going to play with every prompting that I receive in the meantime because I'm going to get to that result. If you're like, what are you talking about? New moon intention manifestation. DM me. If you DM me, I'll tell you what you need to do and I'll send it to you. I created a whole chart. So I'm saying this all to you today because stop it. Just stop it. Stop. You're going to be a God or you're going to be a human. <laughs> like pick one and stick with it. Pick one and stick with it. You can be a human, do this, do human stuff, be in fear, be scared. Be, you know, allow the, the construct to dictate your moves. Allow with the news to say, oh my gosh, the economy is so bad. Are you kidding me? I told y'all it's abundance. I just opened my, what you call it, account yesterday. I, I, I share with y'all in, I don't know, 2020, there was a coin that was $126 and Spirit said, buy a whole bunch of them. I said, okay, I don't have, I don't have that much money. And I was told, take a thousand dollars and just buy a bunch of them. Okay. It was one twenty six back then. It's four thousand dollars yesterday. And I remember going. I remember going on YouTube, and telling people exactly to do the exact thing. I trust this so much in my spirit team. I trust this so much in my spirit team in 2017 when I was told to meet with this girl because I said, how are you living in Colombia? Just like living up the life and you're not working. And she said, I want to tell you about something that I do. And I met with her in a store like Costco and she told me about Bitcoin. The hell is a Bitcoin? I didn't understand what it was, but I followed my prompting. She said, buy a Bitcoin. I think it was $3,000 at the time. It is now $72,000 right now, y'all. I'm not saying this to tell y'all to go, oh my gosh, I have to invest in cryptocurrency. I'm not saying that. I'm saying these were promptings that I just followed. I just freaking played with it. Let me... With, it's going to hurt me to, to spend this money on this, to invest in myself, some investment. I don't know nothing about this. I don't need to understand how it works. I don't need to study the blockchain. My spirit team said, do it. I did it. I have a student that literally, I remember last year, literally, Lori, oh my gosh. who wanted to enroll in a program and did not have the money. It was 197. She did not have $197. And she heard me say something like, follow your prompting, stop being scared. And I think she asked someone, can they loan her the money or someone gave her the money. And she got in the program and her spirit team was like, no, you need to do another program. She didn't even have the money to be in that one. She didn't know how she was going to pay for the second month. <laughs> and she was in this program. And within three weeks, she was able to get her hands on 
a hundred thousand dollars. Half of it, someone ran. I gave it to her. What? A quarter of it. Excuse me. Because she was delusional. Like, I'm going to do this program and I don't even have a job. I don't even have money. Th this stuff exists, y'all. Because she knew that this is what I'm supposed to do. She she trusted in that knowing. And she she knew that the work that she's here to do is so powerful. And that she has to help people at a massive level. And she was so much in that delusional space. That a spirit team was like, shoot, let's do it. Let's give her what she needs. So be in your knowing, y'all. Stop letting the world dictate whatever to you. I, I, I literally told you a couple months ago, they're saying gloom and doom and the economy is da da da, whatever. And I'm telling you, like over the last month, a whole bunch of people became millionaires. Last month alone, Thousands of people became millionaires, excuse me, in the last two weeks. Oh, you're talking about money. This is spiritual. Yes. As spiritual beings, you are meant to have health. You are meant to have wealth. Why? Because it gives you options. Options to do what? Your work, how you like to do it. It gives you options to be free. To have the freedom without having to worry about st stupidness. Like the water and the electric bill. It gives you the freedom to put it on auto draft. And know that every month is going to get paid. And I have to worry if do I have this amount of money? And do I have to set up the payment plan with the electric company? I'm saying that because I did that. That was me. It gives you the freedom to help other people. It gives you the freedom to be a true boss. People talk about, I'm a boss this. You're not a boss unless you are helping someone else sustain their life. That's a boss. I'm going to pick someone's name on here. Kim. Kim, you are a boss and you truly have freedom when you can hire someone to help you do your business, plant therapy. And in you hiring them, they're able to sustain their family. That's a boss. That's a spiritual boss. Do you understand? You are meant to have abundance. You're meant to walk in abundance. In abundance in wealth and abundance in health. You're meant to have abundance in love. It's not some far off thing. It's right there. But you have to be a little delusional. You have to play with it. And you have to know this is who I am. This is what I'm here to do. I'm going to do it. Don't worry about how long it takes. Who cares? It's, it's time's going to come anyway. It's going to take me a year. 
the year is going to come anyway. <laughs> you rather do it in that year or not. You have to be so fixed in that. So 100%. 100% vested in that. A hundred percent invested in that. Don't worry about what nobody thinks. Oh, Professor Melanie. I'm talking about the original Professor Melanie teaching at the universities. She's living back home with her parents and her three kids. I didn't even have my car anymore. I had a nice vehicle. I didn't even have that anymore. I had to sell my car, y'all. I sold my car for $4,000. Because <laughs> I needed the money. And I said, well, my parents have cars. I'll drive their cars. I don't think I ever shared that. And she's not eating meat anymore. And she's always outdoors and talking about talking to trees and mixing herbs and always telling people how she can heal them. I learned to just be quiet. You're not, gonna, you're not in alignment with my delusion? I'm not going to say anything. I'll wait. I'll wait. I just sat back and waited. And waited for them to come and ask for help years later down the line. Because I was the one person that was doing that back then. This is you all. Peace, Lori, I was just talking about you. So y'all make y'all decisions. Make it before the new year. Pick a side and stay there. And even if what you what you're doing seems Remember there's two sides of delusion. There's the the common definition which says to deceive. People think you're deceiving yourself or them. And remember the etymology it means of play. We're, we are taking the true meaning of it. And we're following our promptings because we know who we are as spiritual beings. And we're going to play with this thing. We're going to just have fun with it. And we're going to know that all of our needs are going to be met, plus our desires. My spirit team told me that 2017. I'll never forget. Melanie, do your work. You will have all of your needs that you need to be met plus your desires whatever you desire you can have them too we don't care about that stupidness you want a house car or whatever that stuff is you can have whatever you want just do your work we got you being in that knowing space y'all okay so with that said If you did not do your new moon manifestation because you slipped back into whatever, do it. This is part of your work. It works. Do it with 100% knowing everyone have an abundant day, have an abundant day full of love, full of health, full of wealth, just full of goodness. Play, do something, do something purposefully that's going to look delusional to other people. <laughs> Be delusional on purpose today. 
on purpose. If you don't do something that other people are going to look at, like what's wrong with you, you're not doing it. (laughs) I'll talk to you all soon. Peace, everyone.